Hey, we always live Elvis. Hey, Memphis Mafia Kid and... And Teresa. Hey, y'all, hoping everybody is having a uh, uh, great start to the week. <laughs> For Monday. Uh, Monday. I uh, hope everybody had a good weekend. Uh, not going to make excuses. was late on yesterday's video, but here we go with it now. Uh, before we get started, I want a uh, quick birthday shout out to Dennis Brayboy. And Sonia Ritchie. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. And also, we got a special... We have a special little shout out for Gilly, who likes to watch our videos. And she is a nine-year-old spider monkey. Isn't Hi, that, Gilly. Isn't that cool? <laughs> so, Gilly, we love you. Yeah. And remember, Gilly, we always live out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, first question. What was I, your... I, how'd you know we was going to just start? Osmosis. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Who know that is? What was your favorite holiday at Graceland? Without a doubt, Christmas. Mm -hmm. uh, let me say, though, I mean, every day uh, was somewhat like a holiday at Graceland or just like Paradise Amusement Park. Just all. You got what you wanted. All of it rolled into one. <laughs> but uh, as far as actual holiday, holiday, just the the... The theme and to know it was coming and our routine, we was going to be out at Graceland and just, uh, you know, it was just, it was beautiful. It was a special time and, uh, you know, we always, we always had so much fun. I bet it was kind of magical with all the lights and the trees. Oh, it was, and, it was. Yeah. And then actually to be up around, you know, and like I had told one day, you know, uh, you know, we got up on some of the, of the... Nativity animals. Yeah, I've seen, and uh, you know, uh, you know, we turn one over a time or two, but uh, not, not needing anything, but just having fun. But yes, being up, especially up right at it, yeah, uh, was that. But just you know, I mean, you could just stand in the driveway right in front of Graceland and just look, and, and like I said, look down it. I mean, just every angle uh, from from Elvis Presley Boulevard. It just it coming in. Uh, you know, if we'd been somewhere and coming in the gates and coming up the driveway, it was just... Uh, Did y'all, like, play hide-and-seek at night when the lights were on? It, and... it was, like, magical. Yeah, I mean, we, we played hide-and-seek. We, you know, we did all kinds of stuff, I mean. I just mean at Christmas time, you know, the lights lit up outside and... Oh, sure. Like, hide-and-seek sure. around uh, the lights. You know, most, uh, most Christmas was just, you know, it was more kids, you know, a lot of the, uh, you know, uh, Memphis Mafia guys' kids and, uh, you know, during that time... At one time or another, you know, everybody would be up. Now, you know, some went home later, and it just ended up being. Man, I bet y'all were hyped up on sugar like crazy. We was hyped up on sugar, and uh, you know, there's a time or two we got into the mm -hmm. grown up punch and was hyped up on that. Grown up, but it was magical. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, this question is. I'm sorry, that last question. Hold on. Okay, no, I'll go back to it. Uh, this is from Tina Owens, 7404. Did Elvis believe in Jesus? I think without a doubt, uh, we all know that. Yes, he did. Uh, was very much into uh, the Bible. Uh, he knew it very well. Uh, studied it, read it. Uh, talked it over many a time with a lot of his group. And I know what many, many a time... Uh, conversations with, with my mom and daddy. So uh, uh, he was, and, I, and you know, I think you can just tell by the type of person he was, and especially when, when he would sing a, a gospel song. To me, it was more, uh, take how great they are, I mean, and maybe some of you don't, but to me, it's it's like, He's actually singing it. It came from his to heart. God. Yeah, you can you tell know, it came from he, his that, heart. Right, that yeah. he, you know, was feeling God inside him. I mean, it just and it it would just power out. Yeah. Okay, so I'm not doing my job right because you last sure the, not. Fir the first question. Y'all know what that means. <laughs> Hold up. I know. <laughs> tune in time. Tune in time. Stop. Okay, the first question was from Sandy Hare, one eighty eight. I just wanted to be sure. Well, sorry about that, Sandy. She's uh It's it's mine. Uh, let's just say uh 
the lights are on, but I don't think nobody's home. <laughs> don't give me that look, girl. <laughs> okay, next question is from Bo Shane, 123. Bo Shane. In your opinion, do you think Elvis would have looked better in the last few shows in a two-piece suit instead of a jumpsuit? In my opinion, no. Yeah, I don't think so either. Uh, Elvis was just, what's the word? Made to be an amazing uh, in his jumpsuits. And I and, think that was his and concert when, pers you know, yeah, persona. And I mean, there's nothing, it still, I mean, still gives me chills today, uh, you know, at some of them when he kneeled down and spreaded that, that cape. It's like, yeah. you know, you can't be any cooler. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. That's just, yeah, I think I mean, so too. It's just a fact. Do, uh, Kevin R8431, do you ever see your channel going on location, so to speak? Where you actually show us spots in Memphis and talk about growing up there? We've done a, a little uh, around Graceland. We plan on doing uh, doing some more. Uh, you know, I want to do one. Uh, I haven't visited me or Tracy the one of uh, you know Lisa Marie's gravesite. Uh, I I, I want to do that. Uh, and you know nothing. Nothing's out, just whatever hits us. But you know, if uh, you know, if there was a, a big interest in it, uh, sure, you know, we might do some, uh, uh, you know, things that, you know, that I did, you know, while living at Graceland and places that we went and things we did. Yeah. Uh, you know, nothing's out of the question. Hey, you know what, y'all, send us some comments of, of of some stuff you might like to see on the video. Yeah, Mary D, eighty-seven ninety-three. What would Elvis have done if you would have woken him? He wouldn't have been happy. Uh, we never did because we knew better. But I, but I, I, I see where the question is coming from. Uh, if it would have happened, he wouldn't have been happy. But I mean, he might have, you know, said a few things, possibly. Uh, but I know for a fact. Uh, he would have told daddy, and uh, that would have been worse. <laughs> yeah, you would have got uh, talking to. <laughs> so, like I said, let's just think. Thank goodness that never happened. We we knew better, but uh, yeah, I mean, on things like that, he you know he wasn't real happy. I you know I I told a story one time about you know Lisa waking him up uh, over a uh, 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 golf carts, and uh, woo, he was not happy. Uh, so, all right. You know, thank goodness it was her because she could get away with pretty much everything. Uh, like I said, he never, you know, even if we, we did something, he he never come down on us or or uh, corrected us or or was ugly to us or anything. I, if that would have, you know, anything like that would have been, he, you know, he would him and Daddy were just close like that. You know, the same way, you know, Lisa, like I said, you know, she went up. And told Elvis that Daddy pushed her over on the tricycle one time, and he brought it. You know, they knew it wasn't true, but you know they talked about it. That's just, uh, they just handled things with with the love and and respect, I guess you would say. Okay, from Mo for it. Did your family get their items from the closed Tiger Man Dojo Museum? I I guess you mean in our stuff we had on display uh, when they closed, and uh, yes, we did. I mean. Uh, there was never any any problems there. I mean, we we kept our uh, part of the bargain, mm -hmm. I guess you could say, uh, mm -hmm. up, and 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 uh, you know the dojo kept theirs up. I mean that yep. uh, you know never had any problem. Just you know when I was ready to get uh, my stuff, I got it, and I know I think mom and daddy's uh, mm -hmm. uh, stayed up there a little longer and when they got ready. But no, there was never ever. Uh, any problems with uh, with any of that whatsoever? Okay, Michelle Gillen, can you make a Q and A video with the pugs? Wow. Well, wait a minute. Hold up. She don't know what craziness she's asking for. What's wrong with MMK and Teresa? <laughs> I mean, I do. I, I don't know that they would have much look, to say. Look, look in the camera. I, I've been told, you know, that I do. I have puppy dog eyes. Yes, you do. So, but uh, no. Uh, <laughs> Sure, we'll uh, we'll have me in. Uh, you know, 
so crazy. Teresa does cute little shorts and I stuff. I need to do some and, more. Uh, I haven't. You know, to try to get them on there for y'all. So we'll we'll uh yeah. we'll see what we can't work up. But yeah, appreciate that's a great shorts and stuff of them. They 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 don't cooperate very well. They're very. Hmm. Okay, next question. Uh, they're wild childs. They are. since <laughs> spoiled. Uh, okay, Michelle. I, I, and I usually, I don't know, Teresa, you can tell me if you can see it. Uh, they get wild like the other night when I was on the couch. Can you see the Wait, Teresa? come up just a little bit. Come up. There it is. Come up a little more. Come up. No, you're going the wrong. You're going down. Uh, not up. Yeah. Down. Up. Up like this? No. Put your head down and lift your back up a little bit. Oh, never mind. I don't know. I saw it for a second. <laughs> okay, anyway, uh, Layla, the female, uh. She was sleeping with me on the couch, dozing, watching TV, and uh, she got a little wild spell and went right across my head and just give her a good old tearing. So. It is a poor, pitiful yeah. me. Video. And I did what I usually do. I it cussed, is poor, pitiful I cussed me. for a minute, and then she looked at me with those sad eyes, and she got her way. Yeah, you always <laughs> do. Now you're going to be Yeah, hold up. Before what? we go any further, though, there's something on my mind I got to ask. Gentlemen, this is for y'all. Uh, and it, it just... It really just aggravates the hell out of me. But y'all tell me how many y'all uh, happens with y'all's girlfriends or your wives or whatever. But Teresa, we get ready to go. She'll come in and say, how does this look? And I'll say, man, that looks, you know, that looks good. I like that. It looks good. I'll brush my teeth or, <laughs> or fix something to drink. She comes back through with something different on. And I said, what? You didn't like that? <laughs> oh, well, I just thought I'd change. It was hot. Uh, I needed something cooler to wear. I don't know if it's just her or something <laughs> hell's wrong with her or what, but four or five times. Three. But three, okay, yeah. It they was always, only you know, three. They're, they're ten times is three. The first one was too hot, the second one was too oh, tight, okay. and the third okay. one was just right. I mean, <laughs> help me out, guys. I mean, I throw a shirt on, that's what the heck I'm wearing. Uh, but what my point is, is why in the hell even come in and asking me what I think or how it looks or do you like it or whatever when you're not going to listen to nothing I say and take it off and put something else on. But it's sad that I have to ask you how it looked. You know, you should already you know, say, hey, that looks great. I, well, if I do that, you're still going to go change it. Okay, we've done that before. Okay. <laughs> and Michelle also had a question for me. She said that I mentioned that I like Duran Duran and had I by attended one of their concerts. I did in the mid-80s and it was awesome. I didn't have good seats, but it was still awesome to be there. Yes. Okay, Phil Cox, 3671. Did Elvis ever have the Memphis Mafia guys do yard work around, and did they take care of the grounds? No, we've uh, we've talked about that, and you may be a, a, a new subscriber, or maybe you missed it, so I'm going to be more than happy to answer. No, uh, Elvis had a group that took care of the grounds and, and uh, vehicles and just all, all the stuff like that around. And then uh, that was uh, Uncle Earl Pritchett, uh, Mike McGregor, uh, an older gentleman named Albert that actually come from the ranch. Uh, and there, toward the end uh, for a couple of years, uh, Tommy Henley uh, helped out, which was uh, Tish Henley's husband at the time. So, and they, they took care of the ground, you know, all the grass cut and the uh, uh, trimming. And then uh, there was a older gentleman that always, George Coleman, that did the electrical work, like put up the Christmas lights and helped them with, with stuff like that. Or, you know, if they had electrical problems at Graceland, uh, he would be, you know, if it was a, a little more major job than just something simple, uh, Mr. Coleman would do that. All right, next question is from... Jennifer B. 8685. She wants to know, do you ever think about writing a book about your childhood memories with Lisa and living at Graceland? I've thought about it uh, many a times. Uh, but like we said, this... I won't say it's out of the question, but it's... It's, uh, it's just so much in it. And then, too, with the author, if you don't get the right one, it... it you know, uh, they can change it up a little bit. And I'm going to be honest, when, when Teresa come up with this, uh, doing these YouTube videos, uh, once I started doing them, I fell in love with them. I mean, uh, you know, 
it's all on me or all on us. But I'm not going to say nothing that I don't mean. And I know nobody's going to add nothing. Nobody's going to take nothing. Uh, because Teresa does all the, the filming and, and, you know, the editing. And she does very little having to edit anything out because... You're perfect. Uh, no, but I mean, <laughs> keep on being smart. I'm the closest thing you'll ever get to perfect. But, oh, man. Mm, uh, I feel sorry that, for But myself. I didn't say that. I, what I was saying before I was rudely interrupted <laughs> was... Uh, I never forgot now what I said. <laughs> Whoa, boy, you just... <laughs> well, that's something that I did learn being a part of the Smith family is you have to interrupt if you're going to talk. That's how it works. You get a second to slip something in, you slip it in while you can. Point being, uh, <laughs> I love the videos. Yeah, and and, and so far from the response we've got uh, and the support from y'all, uh, I guess y'all like them too, and, and uh, we appreciate that. But... I, I to say, you know, that never do a book. No, I'm not going to say that, but uh, I, I'm still having fun and uh, enjoying doing these videos for y'all. And as long as I can do that, uh, I'm going to continue doing that. Yeah. All right, last question is from MG Cole, 5586. Do you really need a cane or is it just a prop? You do need it. To keep your hands busy. So, because if he didn't have the cane, he'd be wringing his hands. I don't know if those who've watched from the beginning remember those days where he'd have to rub his hands or a finger or something. So, that keeps his hands busy. Was that question to you or to me? Well, it <laughs> just said, do you or to need? Us. Okay. Uh, but you are right. Uh, I do have... Uh, back problem sometimes and, and it gets into my leg, you know, it gets to hurt me if I stand or walk a long time. Uh, but not all the time. I mean, I don't have to have it. Uh, but I'll use it during those times to try to take a little pressure off. Uh, the other times, uh, it, it's like I said, I guess you could say a, a, a proper word. I, I think they're cool. Uh, I love them. I like to collect them. Uh, and, uh, I always have, like I said, like I've stated, when I seen Elvis with his and then later on Evil Knievel, I thought that was the, the coolest thing is, is a cane, you know, even uh, even had one one of my proms one time. So <laughs> You know, I ordered you a cane. It should so, come this weekend. Yeah. I'm waiting. I can't <laughs> wait to see it. She did. She said she ordered me a new cane. So yeah, I can't I did. wait. Hoping to show y'all here soon uh, <laughs> whenever it comes in, if she's telling the truth. But What? I always tell the truth. Anyway, y'all, hey, we, uh, we've we enjoyed it. We have so much fun with y'all. Y'all keep those questions coming in. Yes. Send your comments. Hit that like button, that subscribe button, and tell all your friends, yes. your buddies, your neighbors, and your if, pets, and everybody else to subscribe. <laughs> and if you have subscribed, go make sure you're still subscribed because on some channels I've noticed, and in ours too, a few, that people who've been subscribed are suddenly unsubscribed. They didn't do it. It's just something that's yeah. through YouTube. So right. check and make sure your subscription is still. Right. And yeah. it, it doesn't cost you anything no. to subscribe. There's no fees or nothing. Uh, you know, it, if you want to, it helps us. But if you don't, hey, that's fine too. Uh, like I said, we love each and every one of you. We appreciate the support that you give us. And you know what? We'll see y'all next video, but remember, we, we always, always live Elvis. Elvis.